YouTube, welcome back to the Sacred Life channel with Maria. I am feeling incredibly blessed and thankful today. This weekend I took the time to move into my new apartment and I have to say I've never felt more aligned, never felt more powerful in the best way possible and I also feel so much love and gratitude that I've been crying every morning because I feel so damn blessed. So I'm very excited for today's meditation because it's very special. It's all about love and it's all about taking the time to write your story exactly how you want it to turn out. If this is your first time here, I hope you subscribe to my channel and enjoy my video. Let's get started. Soulmates are so special, especially when you get to meet one of yours because in a world full of people, it sometimes can be difficult to find each other. However, the universe will always bring you together because with your soulmate, you're supposed to grow in your awareness, expand your consciousness, and figure out what you have left to heal within yourself so that you may end your cycle of samsara and just live in pure eternal bliss and happiness. You can spend a day a moment or a lifetime with your soulmate. One little quick tip that I do have for a few of you is that if you're like me and have been spending a lot of time alone, it may feel like you're really far away from love. However, when you fall in love with yourself, when you treat yourself exactly the way you want to be treated, rest assured that your soulmate is going to walk into your life and treat you exactly as you've been treating yourself. And so it's extremely important to treat and give yourself the things that you would want another person to give to you. And I have to say, I've been practicing this for a year and I've never loved myself more. And thanks to that, I'm now able to love others. And so it really is important that you love yourself unlike anything else in the world so that you can feel deeply spiritually connected to everything else too. The next card was soul writing. Now I know that I have talked about this before in other videos, however, whenever the same message comes up for me, I know that I need to interpret it in a different way or share it with my audience in a different way. Soul writing is about your life. Imagine that your life is a piece of art. Start by creating more of the little moments that you love about your life. These little moments literally add up to be your entire life in the big picture. Try to think of life as an art form that whatever you want, you will manifest. And so be deliberate with what you think, be deliberate with what you say, and be deliberate with who you keep around you. Write a story that gives you the power. Stop giving your power away. Stop giving your power to your boss or to your parents or to your friends or just stop. Start embracing yourself, start respecting yourself, and start writing. But more importantly, start living out what you write. So for example, for me, journaling on a daily basis is extremely important. I wake up every day and write a gratitude list, and this is how I begin every day. You have to find whatever works for you. But what I want to remind you is to not be so serious all the time. We live in a place that's always serious, so have fun, write a story that you love, think of your wildest dreams, make a vision board, and then go out and do it, guys. The last card we have today is Soul Love, which is what I'm all about. Unconditional, pure light and love. Let me tell you guys something. Whatever has blocked you in the past, whatever misfortunes have happened to you, it is over. You no longer have to live as a prisoner of your past or as a pioneer of your future. Begin living in the moment with love. Love is a knowing, it's a certainty, it's a trust, it's an undeniable faith that only love will come into your life. When you embody love, it's impossible to not attract it. And so another thing that comes with love is your ego. Your ego is certainly gonna try to pull you away from love because the ego does not want you to be successful. The ego, the ego thrives on fear. 
And so guys, whenever you're having a negative thought come up in your head, just quickly shift your awareness. Be aware of it. I, I realize I have this thought and I now set it free to go into love and light. And I'm telling you guys, by doing these simple steps and embodying love in every aspect of the way you're going to fall in love with everything, with new experiences, with new people, with yourself, and life is just going to feel so much more magical and you're going to fall so in love that you're going to want to tell the world about it just the way that I am now. I believe affirmations and mantras are extremely important, especially at the beginning of the love journey as I like to call it. So today I'm going to leave you uh, with this affirmation. I am constantly manifesting my dreams into reality. I am constantly manifesting my dreams into reality. Say this two to three times and wake up every day with a new mantra. If this is your first time here, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to ask me questions, like my video, and subscribe to my channel. Lots of love guys. I look forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday. Take care.